what's good it is your boy bait welcome back to my channel if you like defense tutorials like the one we about to do today make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe turn on notifications be part of cook up nation man before we go on this tips and tricks for beginners for off ball defensive tips right we got to go over and check out the knights the knights got their new park so shout out to them it's kind of uh, uh, ah i don't know i feel like they should have changed the color of the court uh to a degree i don't like that gray i just don't like the gray the gray is too like i feel like they should have made it a uh, dark like the maybe maybe the court's yellow with the uh, with the logo being purple i don't know just just more than what it is right now i feel like they just did a little bit they didn't even do a lot and they changed the backboards or whatever. It's almost like your my court or whatever. I don't know. What do y'all think about it? Is it a dub? Let me know how you feel in the comments below about the Knights courts. I think it's all right. It's cool. I think it could be better. I would have said maybe either make the whole court purple and then the logos in yellow, right? Or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? The, the whole court in yellow and then the logo in purple or whatever the case may be something that stands out a little bit more than what it is you know what i mean because i just feel like it's just basic it's just like they just put a little purple around and boom there it is i don't know i don't know that's that's just me but anyway let's go and talk about this off ball defensive tips these tips is going to help you play better off ball defense all right some of the stuff you already know and these are stuff for beginners some of the stuff i didn't even know that they did and if you stay to the very end i'm going to be showing you some some stuff around like how to get better blocks what animation triggers some solid blocks as well that i didn't even know so we're here we're going to the 2k youths and we're going to be looking at some controller tips all right some of the stuff we don't even go over you know what i mean some stuff they got some hidden gems in here and we're about to go over they talk about shooting and stuff like that reverse layups they tell you exactly how to trigger these animations in this game we know 2k is a fully based animation game so chill with me get your popcorn ready so let's talk about the off ball defensive tips and tricks for beginners you can use this for immediate and even advanced players so you already know to box out somebody you want to hold the lt button or l2 rebound we already know you want to press the y button it's not that crazy but you can box out with the lt and then press rebound and then you want to even get that box out assist to 100 you know what i mean this right here i want to see if this is going to help as far as like bumping bumping people when they trying to go lobs i'm going to test this theory out and i'm gonna see if this works when you're trying to throw a lob hold the r or the lt or the r2 i mean l2 i always get those dang things mixed up l2 r2 and i'm gonna try to see if that works deny with the hands out they tell you putting the hands out or whatever the case may be this can be really really good for face guarding people uh when they're trying to iso iso and then throw to the corners if you deny you maybe hit the ball deny engage hold the lt when near an opponent while out on the perimeter so when you out on the perimeter hold the lt and it's going to give you this animation where you are denying engaging so another face guard and option some of this stuff y'all don't use y'all don't use you know whatever the case may be this may help you and then you talk about post engagement post up engagement for my big man right here holding the lt when near the opponent while inside the basket or whatever inside or near the basket these are things that you can utilize to help push like post push right this is something you can push people outside of the paint it's it, like they got some things in here that you can utilize you know what i'm saying i'm gonna start trying to utilize these things i really want to utilize that bump the pull the chair stuff that we don't even use sometimes we just let somebody continue to back us up and we don't use it but you hold the lt and you gauge and move the r in the direction of where they're trying to bump you down so this can be a dope dope thing if somebody's trying to constantly put you in a post you can do the chair they're gonna throw the ball boom you get a steal you know post transitions stuff like that see we don't a lot of people don't use this stuff like blocking the people's transitions 
to get in a good animation and get in a good space and to get an easier, uh, you know, layup or shot or whatever the case may be. Using this stuff is really, really crucial. All right, you got a post fight, hold the LT and engage in the post, move um, up, down, uh, whichever the way they try to transition. It's another one of those transition mini games. If you try to guess right, you can you can do some things. And then you got the post still entry. You know what I mean? Hold the LT, press X. Stuff that y'all mostly should know, but like I said, it's for beginner and intermediate players. Uh, post disengage. Like if you don't want to disengage, if you want to get a move, just move your move your controllers. You know how the game sometimes sucks you in that animation anyway, but that's how you would disengage from them. Dive on a loose ball and just, you know, double tap X or repeatedly press X. I wish they had better dive animation still. We still got the same animations in this game. And these are some of the off-ball um, tips and tricks that you can use. Again, like I said, I want to use this. I'm going to try to test out this theory, this bump theory, to see if we can use this to prevent people from throwing lobs. I'm, I'm going to try that. I don't know if it's confirmed yet, but I'm going to definitely try that. Something that you can use. And then they have some dope stuff uh, for the defensive side of it. It's most stuff that you guys already know know um on a defensive end but they i saw this thing where it talks about blocks we already know about intense d blocks is with the y button i see this right but then i'm gonna scroll down as you're gonna see we're gonna talk about the steals we already know steals is x or whatever crowd and dribblers this is a real good thing as well too when you crowd a dribbler and you spam or quickly press the right thumbstick down you can trigger a steal and we talked about fast shuffling we talked about the better way to improve your lateral quickness and things like that hands up and, and it's different from hands Hands out like hands out it's like playing the, the passing lane and things like that stuff that you can utilize to help you play better defense contest hey this year you gotta press y sometimes you just gotta jump you gotta jump and contest that way because like i said this is the own ball steals quickly uh when you get a bump or a body up quickly press that thing down and you can get steals based off your steel animations or your steel attributes uh this right here the swap blocks i'm gonna try this holding rt uh, or R2 in the Y button or the triangle button at the same time. I'm try that. Um, but y'all let me know if these tips helped you out. This is something simple, something light. I got to get y'all right. I got to get y'all right. Using all kind of things to help improve your defense, man. I'm going to be using that bump. We're going to do a tutorial on trying to use the bump and see if that's how you prevent lives. If it does, I think I may got another golden one for y'all. But y'all live life trust less. You rock one of the best. Without the man upstairs, my life will be a mess. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Bake. We back. We different. Peace.